Just an update on the Subaru. We got a big box of parts from White Line. So uh, looking forward to getting those in. We're gonna try to do that in a couple days. Yes, awesome. Thanks to White Line for helping us out. They uh, give us some nice discounts. Um, picked up some wheels, some uh, what I thought were Subaru STI wheels off a of GD Rex STI. Turns out they're replicas. Yes, that's right, you can get fake STI wheels. So they're seven inches wide, not seven and a half. And a uh, different offset, 45 offset, not uh, 53. But they do clear Brembo, so we might use them on a, a project, uh, well, just to wheel the, the car around and, and maybe for a bit of a road wheel when we're not track wheel. But be sure to check for fakes because, uh, yeah, they even do fakes of real stuff. Now we're uh, gonna go off to work and at work, I've got Shannon from Color Tech coming to fix that uh, stuff in the corner and we're gonna get a little bit of touch-up paint and kind of go around the car and fix up a few other little things. So looking forward to getting this project up and running. Let's see what the, well, I know what they sent us, but let's have a look at it. Okay, where'd they send us? They got, they send us five speed shift kit. Yeah, five speed bush, bushing kit, that's good. Um, the shifter feels like crap. Um, some nuts. Valve caps. Nice, okay. nice. Should be a couple, a few packs of them. What's that? Bolts. What does it say? Subframe lock. Subframe locking. Yep. Rear subframe locking kit, nice. So we'll get rid of the hop and soggy feel. Invoice, yep. What else we got? Um, yeah. Another, yeah, the packing list. What's that one? Some bushings for the gearbox. That's the side of the uh, gearbox. Camber, camber bolt. bolts. Camber bolts. We need those. Yeah. Get some camber out of this thing. Yeah, and sway bars. And sway bars. And sway bars. We got front and rear sway bars. I'll keep opening up. I think there might be some uh, more stuff in there. What do we got? We have anti-roll kit. Oh yeah, cool. End links. Yep. Yeah. And another one too. Yeah, okay. And then we have number one. Yep. Yeah. Alright, we'll see which one's the front, which one's the rear. What else? Nice, okay. Well, uh, it's getting late. We're losing sun. But I think we can, I don't know, you want to try to crack the, try to do this, the rear one? That's pretty quick and easy. All right, let's see if we can get the rear one sorted. How's that feel? Amazing. Okay, we don't have much light, so I'm gonna see if I can get a white line rear sway bar installed. I got the rear end links too, so we'll see if we can get it done in time. What do you think, can we do it? Yeah. Then we can. All right, we don't. And that's it. That's a rear sway bar installed. Hey Tom, we got a big shipment from Pro Speed Racing. The guys came through with a bunch of goods. All right, I got the uh, I got the packing slip here. Let's go through and see what we got. Okay, ready? Yep. All right, we got the Roger Clark Motorsport Cylinder Four Cooling Mod Street Rubber Kit. That'll be the uh, that's it there. So that goes to Cylinder Four to uh, help keep it cool and. 
on the track because there's not much coolant to go through there. Okay, we got the Subaru engine service kit with with the uh, magnetic sump plug. So we got the sump plug somewhere? Yeah. Where's that? There you go, magnetic sump plug. Let's get any oil that's floating around. Okay, uh, it's got a genuine Subaru oil filter. There we go, we got the... K&M we did just get a K&M, but we're gonna, we always do oil changes on these. So yeah, there's a Subaru one. And uh, the Subaru in upper engine cleaner. Where is that? There we go, upper engine cleaner. Clean up the air intake. Uh, and a Subaru fuel additive. It's a tank treatment, clean out the injectors. Okay, now next we have a Roger Clark Motorsport performance panel air filter. Okay, so we got a dry foam, high performance, high flow air filter. Um, what else we got? Spark plugs, where are we? NGK Iridiums, nice, that's what we need. Okay, now to help with the oiling so we don't get the donut media effect on our car where we blow up engines, hopefully. Uh, the Killer B Ultimate Oil Baffle Combo. So we have a the oil windage tray and we have the Ultimate Oil Pickup. So a reinforced and larger pickup tube, less prone to cracking. Uh, that should help with the oil. We have a Cobb short shifter. Nice, okay, so we have, and they're good because they're height and shortness throw adjustable. Uh, clutch line, braided clutch line, because they're about to get the clutch done, so we'll get that done. And good clutch line. Uh, STI mounts, we have STI group and so the harder rubber engine mounts. Uh, there's two of them there, and then a transmission mount, because when we do the clutch, we'll do that. So that's just them there in the boxes. Uh, we have a final thing, STI high pressure radiator cap. So again, help with the cooling. Pressure increases the boiling point of the fluid, and uh, we can put that on uh, pretty soon. Let's go put it, hey, you know what? Let's go do the air filter and the radiator cap now. They're quick. Okay. All right, we're gonna install the STI. Radiator. Nice. Good to do on all Subarus because raising the pressure of the coolant system, always do this one's cold, this motor's stone cold, uh, increases the boiling point and uh, helps the cooling. So undo your stock one. Oh no, it's starting to rain. Put on the new one. Get it so it's sitting flush. There we go. Turn. That's it now. Key point, you saw me there. I kind of had it not straight, and now I do it straight. There we go, it's pretty much an STI now. And then we put, pull it over. Pull that over. Ooh, satisfying sound. Satisfying. Yeah. So now that we've installed the rad cap and the air filter, look, it only takes a second. I think we might just clean off the math because it's 83,000 Ks. I got no record of it being done. Two screws. Uh, we'll just get that out of the way and take that out, give it a clean. So to make amends for our fake STIs, we got some real wheels. And these were, the tires are horrible. Don't look at the tires. But these, how much were these, Tommy? 200 bucks. 200 bucks for a set, 17 by eights, 53 offset. Obviously OEM, Rexy wheels. One of them's got some curb. Wow. Uh, all the rest are fine. Um, most importantly, they are not fakes, and they're uh, they're a bit wider, 17 by 8, so good. We're just going to give them a clean up now because they've got lots of spider web nests on them. Yeah, all that white. Yeah, that's spiders. And Australian spiders, well, you know, they kill you.